Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, it's been a busy weekend. Jimmy and I have been going absolutely crazy on getting this car ready to paint, blast, all that fun jazz. As you saw in previous video, the body panels are done, except for the bottom here. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing today. Also, Brian from BNR Racing, good friend of mine. He has one heck of a wrench. Very knowledgeable on Pontiacs, very knowledgeable on muscle cars, engines, all that anyway. Um, he's in the other room right now. He's talking to Jimmy. Um, he's going to finish the center section on my Strange 9-inch. I think he's going to be testing some valve springs and all that fun jazz. He's been doing a lot behind the scenes. Um, very, very good guy. I really appreciate his help. And, you know, guys, after this video, this thing is going to be ready to go. Blast and paint. Lay down that nostalgia theme I got going on. And you know what? I'm really looking forward to that. I got all the body panels loaded up in the car. Uh, we got to get this done. And once this is done, we're going to move to the other room because I'm going to come later this week to pick it up, to go get it sandblasted so we can go to Fast Eddie's and get everything painted. Got to drop off the template we made out of craft paper to a friend of mine to make the seat cover in the seat. Very retro, old school, cool, by the way. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at. And oh, another cool new t-shirt, Hollabrand. I absolutely like t-shirts, guys. All kinds of cool ones. Since I'm running Halbaran Reels, might as well represent it on my shirt. So that's what we got going on today. Um, we're making this out of aluminum, just like everything else. Uh, I did buy an extra sheet, so I do have that in the other room. We're going to have to make hay today because it is the clock's ticking. I'll just put it that way. So with that, guys, I'm rambling. Those guys are ready to get to work. I'll say in a few. All right, before I show you what we got going on in the other room, if you look, we have Zeus fastener tabs all across there. And the reason being is, like I said, we got to make panels. And the way it's going to work is this is underneath the engine here, um, all the way to here. So if you look here, uh, this would be the bottom side of the engine. So we got to make a panel here that's going to break, then to make a panel here that's going to break, and then make a panel that comes back here and it's going to break. So there'll probably be at least three panels in there. And that's what we got to do. Like I said, they're not getting painted, but we're going to have to bead roll them so they match up nicely and make them look good. So that's what we got going on with that. Let me show you what we got going on in the other room. Look at all this fun stuff we got going on here. Brian, he's getting some more tools out. Um, he's got two really awesome valve spring checking tools. Um, these are pretty old school Remax. Very nice setups. He's got my spool and my ring gear. And in previous video, he was installing it, and we found out it wasn't setting up right. So he had a friend of his machine these down, so everything's straight and true. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. My buddy Brian Baker did that. So he took out, I think, what, four thousandths on the gear? About that, yeah. That's four thousandths on the gear, and then two thousandths on the spool. Um, Brian's an expert on doing this stuff. I really appreciate his help. He's got all kinds of goodies. We got a lot of work to do. Once again, Brian, appreciate it. And his friend, I really appreciate machining that out. With that, we're going to get to work.
All right, well, there is our bottom. Um, we did was is we measured everything out and we made our cuts. We then punched it for the Zeus fasteners and then on each panel. So when air comes across here, it sits flat. We did a uh, bead roll these so it sits nice and flush. Came back here, same thing, bead rolled that one. Yeah, there we go, guys. You're not going to see it. Hopefully not. Jimmy thinks I'm going to be upside down, go through the finish line on top of this thing. He's going to put a training wheel on top, but I don't think that's going to happen. Gonna put a roller skate on He's going to put a roller skate on it. I'm going to put a hand. When he flips it over, it's going to be a spring-loaded hand waving at you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. At least I'll cross the finish line one way or another. See you in a few. Well, Brian's over there working on the nine inch. Things are going really well. And what Jimmy did was, is we pulled the panels off. And you probably saw, we actually had some nice little accent marks in there with a, a die with the bead roller. Just kind of give it a nice look. And well, that so it's not flexing in the wind. Or yep. in, but the side panels come up and pull the edges up. They roll under. It ought to work. But don't, it'll fly off. Yeah. Looks pretty slick. These don't get painted, like I said earlier. But you know what? They sure do look nice. Seen a few. All right, well, Brian's got the uh, center section all set up. It's a strange 9-inch. Um, it's got a spool, 35 spline, and I went from the 370 top fuel old gears in it to a 430 setup. Look at that pattern he got on there. That is just absolutely perfect. It's got all the right backlash. It's got everything correct. Um, really like it. It's going to be a solid unit. Once again, much appreciated to Brian from BNR Racing. Can't wait to see his Trans Am. It's pretty badass. See in a few seconds. All right, so we're gonna call that a video. Um, all the chassis work is done. We went over it one last time, found a few small things we needed to take care of. We got the body panels done for the bottom, added those nice finishing touches, even though you're never gonna see it. To the contrary, what Jimmy says, it's not gonna have a roller skate on it, so it's not gonna sit there and flip over, and that's how I go through the, through the traps. Yeah, that's what he thinks. Uh, so yeah, that's where we're at. And basically what we got going on next is, is we're going to move this out because I need to come pick this up to go get it blasted so we can paint it, get the body panels to Fast Eddie so we can get those painted. Um, it's come a long ways, guys. It's been a lot of work. I don't even want to try to count how many welds in this. I don't know if I can count that high. 
Got to give a shout out to Brian from BNR Racing. He's over there cleaning some stuff up. Uh, he set up the nine inch I just showed you. Once again, thanks, Brian. Much appreciated. One day when he gets his Trans Am done, I want to do a feature on that because it's wicked. It's actually a true Ram Air four speed car. There's like, what, 80 of those made? Something like that, give or take a few. Um, he's had it for a long time. He's a hell of a wrench, hell of a friend, hell of a mechanic. He's getting a whole lot done. Uh, we're going to go test some valve springs here in a little bit, make sure those are all good. But yeah, that's where we're at. We're just, uh, we're just getting stuff done, and uh, pretty soon you're going to see this thing painted, and it's going to be assembly time. With that, Jimmy, what do you think? Uh, I'm not going to let him get killed. I went, from a, I went from a tricycle to a bicycle to one of these things, and uh, I probably got, well, I don't know how many miles under me in these things, eighth mile or quarter mile at a time. He's got a few, quite a few. I don't have any in anything like this, um, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a journey. We're uh, getting close to starting to assemble an engine. We got all the parts for that. Um, getting close to just getting this car back here and starting to put it together. Uh, the center section is done. We got a little bit more machining work to do on some other stuff, but I'm really tired. So with that, guys, until the next one, Jumping Jack Flash is a gas, 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 and it's going to be fast, fast, fast. Next thing we got to do is put my engine back together. It's been machined and ready to assemble for... 12 years? Yeah. Close to it. And we did go through and check everything once again. Got a bunch of parts in. Um, we're ready to rock and roll, guys. We're tired. We'll see you in the next one. Later.